Hey, what's up guys, Nick here. And today I wanted to answer a question that I get pretty often and it's, can I use a quick snap, just a snap on a bunch of different lures if I bring one rod and I'm out to the bank and I wanna cast a bunch? Yeah, the simple answer is yeah. Uh, does the quick snap affect your lures? Smaller ones, yeah it can. Bigger ones, not so much, but it really depends on the angle of the line tying your bait, whether it's horizontal or vertical, and we're gonna get into that. But the first thing I really want to cover here is the tying options, whether it's a split ring, a loop knot, or a quick snap, because this is something I never really address in a, just a heads up style tutorial like this. And I wanna just make it a quick little coverage thing. Now, if you notice all crankbaits or lures with a lot of erratic or side to side movement always come with a split ring on it. The reason for that is where they, uh, the tie versus the split ring, it needs to move freely, allowing your bait to hunt like that and move side to side. If your line's tied directly, uh, you're gonna have more drag on your bait and that hunting action is gonna become tighter um, and maybe not draw you as many bites unless the water's really cold and maybe you wanna think about trying that. But split rings are great for strength, okay? Um, so if you're tying directly, if you like tying like 100% style knots, meaning like really strong knots like a Palomar or an improved clinch knot, uh, maybe the split ring is your deal. But I like to do loop knots a lot on crank baits and jerk baits. And the basis for this is the line and the loop is neutrally buoyant. Yeah, there may be some more wear and tear on your knot considering the eye of where you're tying on is rubbing against the line a little bit more. Uh, but I generally, after each few fish, I retie my knot anyways. This is really critical if I'm trying to get a really wide hunting action or a crankbait even deeper. I wanna allow it to get maximal ability out of the lure. And this is where I'll use a loop knot. I'll just suggest a double surgeon's loop, something I used over the years. I used to tie shark leaders with the dang thing, but it works great as a loop knot for bass fishing crankbaits or whatever you wanna use it for. So the loop knot is fantastic on crankbaits, not for topwater baits. And it's really weird in regards to a topwater, I'm gonna to say use a split ring every time. Don't even use a quick snap and I'll get into that. What happens is on a crankbait where it's diving and that treble hook's blocked by the lip, so it's not gonna get in the loop. On a topwater, most of them don't have a lip so that treble hook can swing up and grab that loop knot. It can also grab a snap. Also, when you're on top moving back and forth, you want that natural movement. You don't want a lot of added weight or weight moving away from your lure like a snap would be. A split ring is much closer to the actual nose of your bait. So walking a bait or working a top water is gonna be a split ring every time. In regards to a quick snap on larger lures, bigger glide baits, um, they're fine. Larger lures in general, it's usually fine. Smaller lures with a quick snap, now it can start messing with them or a bait that darts a lot, a quick snap can mess with that. A straight moving style bait, a quick snap is usually uh, usually absolutely fine. Anything subsurface, it's fine. One thing you're gonna notice on a quick snap is some of them come with a sharp little corner on them. You want a rounded one. A rounded one's gonna give that freedom of movement back to your lure. You don't want anything coming to a little corner. It's gonna get pinned in there. It's gonna negatively affect it. It's like almost tying straight on, but it can be even worse. A lot of the little quick snaps have a little angle on them. So what you wanna be careful with is if your line tie is, whether it's horizontal or vertical on your bait, if you hook a quick snap on a vertical style snap, you could be pulling this way on your quick snap and affecting the action of your lure every time. If it's horizontal, sometimes that quick snap will point down. And if it's a diving bait, that's fine. Or if it's a bait you wanna stay sub, uh, near the surface, make sure that angle's pointed up. So pay attention to your hardware. Now remember, changing split rings, changing quick snaps to something um, better quality is going to benefit you, just like going to more uh, high-end hooks. You're gonna catch more fish. Now you may have noticed this when you've caught a predator fish before that they put your bait into a bind and your bait came back, split ring's still there and your hook's missing. What happens here is the predator fish will roll in the, in the the hook diameter, the wire diameter so thin and the split ring so large, it can bind it and actually escape the split ring. This can also happen with your line. If you look at a split ring where they're rounded, the wires come to a blunt end. If you happen to tie around both of the wires there and then you're not slid into that thin spot, your knot is not fastened and it could pull through sometimes like that or lead to a secondary break 
or if your line diameter is too thin, it can actually escape that split ring. So look for a higher quality split ring that has that smoother taper on it instead of that blunt end. Another awesome solution is those oval shape racetrack style split rings. Therefore, if you tie onto one end and the other end's hinging around, you never have to worry about it uh, getting into that gap. Remember guys, if you love that lure and you love to throw that lure, it doesn't hurt to go buy some $3 high-end split rings that are gonna work a little bit better for you. You know, hopefully these guys, uh, these tips helped you out You'll get out there. If you're looking for more actions, try the loop knot with that neutrally buoyant style line. Um, if you want to tie that fixed point and your lure didn't have um, a split ring on it, add a high quality split ring. You may get more action. If you didn't want to try the loop knot, um, you could go to the snap. Try the snap. Just remember, um, with your snaps and your split rings, they do come in strengths. So if you have thin diameter line, watch it you know and if you have a huge snap on the front of your lure get it down to that smaller size remember limiting the amount of connection points is always critical like someone tells me hey is it okay if i do a leader off of my main line and then tie it onto this bait and i always say there's one more point for failure so if you can limit it it's a good idea whether that's one knot to a snap and onto your bait or that one knot directly to your bait is going to be better than a snap, hands down. If you're throwing a jig and you wanna put a snap on there, tying directly to the bait is much more uh, proficient and better overall odds of hooking that fish and landing that fish than having that snap on there. You increase the potential for a failure point um, in your presentation. But can you do it? Absolutely yes. Um, will it affect two out of 100 fish? Maybe. Uh, will it affect the five bites you get that day? Maybe not. If you have more fun fishing it that way, this is just a little information for you guys to absorb. Hopefully this helped you out. Make sure to follow me guys, Informative Fisherman on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. Best of fishing.